happy day everyone for today's video we are going to have a tour inside the national museum of anthropology here in rizal park ermeta manila but before that let's have our intro let's go <music> The National Museum of Anthropology stages the Philippine Ethnographic and Terrestrial and Underwater Archaeological Collections narrating the story of the Philippines from the past, as presented through artifacts as evidences of its prehistory. In ground floor is the indigenous exhibit by Kidlat Tahimi. It begins at the bottom of the staircase of the main entrance of the museum. The first installation of the exhibit is the Mad Expo, a play on the words of the Madrid Exposition and reference to the exploited Ifugao tribesmen in the 1887 Exposition. The exhibit continues onto the open air garden courtyard where the focal point is a giant Trojan horse. The horse is surrounded by a modern day pop and Hollywood icons. Upon entering the main marble hall from the grand staircase, visitors are greeted by a massive replica of the Victoria, one of the four ships that Magellan sailed to the Philippines. This exhibit, entitled Archiving Tribal Memories in an Audiovisual Room, where Kidlat's famous films are shown on loop, the installations represent the visual archiving in our culture and history. Also shown here are the works of Kidlat Sanz, Kidlat Digia on his woven work on Illustrados, and Kawayan Digia on homemades of Espolarium. National artist Kidlat Tahimik focused on indigenous worldviews and his advocacy to mainstream them into a Filipino popular culture are shown in the extent of this exhibition. His ideas cultivated by a deep understanding and a lifelong immersion on Cordillera cultures offer sound and interesting alternative views of the Philippines past and present through artworks that excites our imagination. This exhibit is dedicated to the rich ceramic tradition of the Philippines from the earliest appearance of pottery in the Neolithic to the contemporary period. The exhibit highlights the significant role of ceramics in the history of the Philippine society and culture. It also showcases the outstanding ceramic types and forms found in the different archaeological sites, demonstrating the amazing craftsmanship of past ceramic producing communities. This gallery showcases the traditional works of the Mandilika ng Bayan Awardees. These include matlooms and textiles, costumes and ornaments, and musical instruments. A Mandilika ng Bayan is a citizen or group of citizens of the Philippines engaged in any traditional art created for decorative, utilitarian, and socio-cultural functions expressing distinctiveness and artistic qualities that are uniquely Filipino. This exhibition is a visual exploration, a feast for the eyes of the rich material cultural heritage of the Islamic cultures in Southern Philippines. It features the material culture of the region 
known for their ornate decorations and embellishments that are not only manifested in objects regarded meaningful or significant within various social, economic, political, or ritual contexts but are also remarkably evident in the mundane and utilitarian. This gallery features the material culture of the 13 LUMAD groups represented in the National Ethnographic Collections. It explores the significance of Mindanao Natural Reserves and Resources to LUMAD identity as well as their experiences and established ties with neighboring groups, specifically the Muslims, through the years. LUMAD is a Visayan term meaning born from the earth. They are non-Muslim non-Christian groups whose culture is centered on their sustainable ecology-based heritage. BI is an Aita term for life. This gallery aims to provide an overview of the previous studies and documentation by early ethnographers and researchers on the Negrito groups. It presents their direct and deep connections with nature reflected in their material cultures and shows their current situations amidst the degradation and annual thinning of their home, the rainforest. This gallery also highlights two of the earliest human remains found in the Philippines, the skull cap and the fossilized right tibia. Aneto refers to the ancestor spirits, nature spirits and deities in the indigenous Philippine folk religions from the pre-colonial age to the present. Although the term itself may have other meanings and association depending on Filipino ethnic group. Some spiritual beliefs that being portrayed here are in sickness and in death, long vigils to console the living and the dead, beliefs and practices among the life and for the dead, ritual passage to the afterlife, cleansing rituals and commemorations. The Archaeological Treasure Gallery highlights the past boreal traditions and remarkable craftsmanship of past Philippine societies about 2,500 to 1,000 years ago. It features the mortuary patteries from Ayub Cave in Pinul Maitom, Sarangani Province and Arayurama that shows how the boreal jars were found arranged inside the cave by archaeologists. This gallery is architecturally designed to simulate a cave setting where most of the boreal objects exhibited were discovered. This gallery features collections on rice from Philippine Rice Research Institute evoking its significance in the Filipino culture in terms of science, traditional knowledge, and heritage systems.
It also aims to support the country's continuing campaign for the Philippines to be self-reliant on rice through responsible rice consumption. It features different types of bulls or granary idol which are used in rituals associated with rice production and other material cultures used in planting, harvesting, processing, and storing rice. This gallery showcases the traditional textiles produced by various indigenous and cultural communities in the Philippines. It tells the story on how these textiles were made, the materials in making the cloth, and the technologies they used. On display are the different traditional textiles, looms, natural fibers, and dyes. The gallery acknowledges and honors local basket and mat weavers in the different regions of the country. It highlights the significance of baskets and mats as a part of both tangible and intangible Filipino cultural heritage through the different materials, techniques used, and the designs incorporated in them as entwined in their functions as accessories and costumes, containers of both secular and sacred objects, and conveyors in fishing, agriculture, as well as in most daily activities. This gallery is a permanent exhibition highlighting by Bayin, a Filipino traditional syllabic writing system. It features and promotes awareness of the writing systems used by the early Filipinos through a showcase of archaeological artifacts, archival records from the Spanish colonial era, and ethnographic collection. By Bayin, as a widely used by coastal groups since 16th century, were often inscribed on leaves using pigments or on bamboos using sharp objects for engraving. The characteristics of these heritage charges of the Cagayan River Basin, illustrated with reproductions of an archival map, architectural drawings, and photographs, complemented with some of the charges' brick materials and replicas of clay insets, are presented in the exhibition.